Hey friends, I'm Sam with Beautiful Wreath and today we're going to be making an angel wing wreath using this Dollar Tree heart frame and one roll of 10 inch by 10 yard mesh. So let's get started. We're also going to be utilizing these little rubber bands. They are black. You can use clear if you want or white or really any color because we're going to hide those. And I'm going to be using clear zip ties as well. First thing that we need to do is we need to cut the bottom portion of our heart shaped frame. That would be this section down here. See how there's a crossbar right here and a crossbar right here. We want to cut that section out. I also want to just bend it out just a little bit, just putting a little bit of tension on it. Not a whole lot. This is what our frame looks like now. I don't know how many of these I'll need. I will input it in uh, either at the beginning or the end of the video. All right, I just replaced my uh, Fisker's blade, so it's relatively sharp. You could use a wood burner for this if you want. However, you do want to be very close to uh, the exact. So I cut off the uh, first portion of the mesh just so that I would have a very straight or close to straight edge. All right. So because we need 10 inches by 10 inches, I want to make sure that I'm lined up. And I'm going to cut as straight as possible. I'm just going to line these up as best as possible. So that I can show you the next step. The next step is to take your 10 inch square. You're going to fold it in on itself. Okay, trying to make a little triangle. And then you're going to walk it up on itself in the center. And then you're going to fold it over on itself. Then about one inch down from the top, that's exactly, oh, sorry, one inch from the top, I'm going to take my rubber band, whether it's black or clear or whatever, and I'm going to rubber band it. Don't worry about the fraying right here. That's not important. And this is what you should have so far. This is one of our angel wings, or angel feathers, rather. So let's do that again. You're going to take your 10 inch square. You're going to fold it over on itself. Go ahead and try to make sure your edges are as close as possible. It's mesh, so it's going to stretch. Then you're going to want to go just right in the center, and you're going to want to walk it up on itself. So now you should have something that looks like a bird, but then you're going to want to take the top portion and fold it in on the bottom portion. You're going to want to fold in at an inch. You can do all this in one motion. It'll, it'll go real quick if you do it that way. You're going to take your rubber band yet again and rubber band it once. Don't worry about the black. Don't worry about any fraying. We can take care of that uh, afterwards, okay? Don't worry about what side to fold on the petals and this, that, and the other. It's not, that's overthinking. It's not important. If you're a beginner and you want something beginner, this is for you. 
fold directly down the middle, fold over on itself, grab about an inch. Oh, my dog is mad. And here's our angel feather. Okay, so we have a few of our angel feathers started. And we're going to go ahead and start attaching them to our heart shaped base. We're going to start at the bottom. We're just going to grab a petal. It really doesn't matter which petals you grab. But I am just simply zip tying on this first bar. Now I'm going to move to the next bar. We're going to zip tie our feather down. All right, so we've got two on. Let's go ahead and put our third. There's three bars, so we're literally just adding one feather to each bar. I'll go ahead and clip. We're gonna go ahead and clip our little ties an inch. So anyway, this little nub where I rubber band and zip tied, I like to go about that distance up. I like to place my next one up right, I'm sorry, right above it. So I'm showing you the back. This is the front. So I'm just layering. We're just layering on top. We are going to take our 10 inch by 10 inch square. We are going to flatten it out. It wants to roll up on itself. That's okay. You're just going to flatten it out. You're going to take one side and match it up to the opposite side. We're now going to meet our fingers in the middle. And we're going to walk our fingers up, gathering all of the mesh. We're going to flip it over. And then we're going to fold it in on itself. And then grab it about an inch from the tip of where we folded. And we're going to rubber band it. It doesn't have to be exactly an inch, just somewhere near there. I like to rubber band mine uh, three, about three times because two times is too loose and four times it most of the time it pops. So we'll go ahead and do another from this angle, flatten our square out, fold it over on itself, try to make sure that the lines, the edges match, go from the middle and work our way Flip it over, fold it over on itself, come down about an inch, and then rubber band it off. This is what we have so far. 
we have 36, I'm sorry, 35 feathers on this side. And I just have a few more feathers to go on the opposite side. And literally, it's just a repeating pattern. It's going one, two, three, one, two, three. That's pretty much the way you do it the whole way through. The time to complete this project is, is great. Meaning it's very time consuming. Now, as we're getting to the edge, we want to be able to camouflage our mechanics. We don't want our rubber bands and our zip ties to be seen. So we are going to invert. I say invert. We are literally just going to shift from pointing the feathers this way. We're going to start to point the feathers that way. So that way it covers. And you'll see when I show you in just a second. Keep in mind, we are going to use some ribbons for the center. We are done with placement. That was a project. When I tell you that, I probably could have finished a full wreath in the amount of time that it took me to just to do this. Just for the frame, I'll show you the back for reference. We did 35, uh, we'll call these one, one piece is called a feather. We'll just call it that. So we did 35 feathers on either side. Um, we did rows of three. As we got towards the top, we just made sure that our mechanics were covered. And there were a couple of spots where there were more than three on each one of the bars. That's cute. That's really cute. All right, so now I want to put my bow on in the center. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go through mesh on both sides. That's adorable. That is adorbs. It's adorbs. OK, you guys, here is our finished product. This is our angel wing wreath with hot and light pink bows. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my page so you'll know whenever I drop new tutorials every week.